In this video, I want to talk about something called the equilibrium constant, what it represents, and how it's calculated. The equilibrium constant is a numerical value that's unique for every chemical reaction. And often you'll see it represented as KEQ, KC, or less often KP. And it's calculated with something called the equilibrium expression. An equilibrium expression can be determined without any type of numerical information. Just by looking at a chemical reaction, we can determine the equilibrium expression. So if we have a generic chemical reaction like this, the equilibrium expression says that the equilibrium constant is equal to the concentration of each of the products raised to their respective coefficients and then divided by the concentrations of each of the reactants raised to their respective coefficients. And that gives us the equilibrium expression. And from that we can determine the equilibrium constant by inputting values of the equilibrium concentrations into the expression. And then that gives us the, nu the numerical value of the equilibrium constant. But what is the equilibrium constant? Well, first of all, it's important to note that it's unitless by convention. So if you're given a problem with, a, with an equilibrium constant, or if you look it up in a table, you'll, you'll find that it has no units. Now it's very useful because it indicates when, an, when a chemical equilibrium has been established. I'll talk more about that uh, in another video. It's also very important to note that it's temperature dependent. So the equilibrium constant will change if the, if the temperature changes. That's why in a, if you're given the equilibrium constant in a problem, it will, it will be uh, given along with a stated temperature. The other thing I want to say is that if you're given, if you're asked to write an equilibrium expression from a uh, given chemical reaction, where some of the species are in the solid or liquid state, you do not include those species in the equilibrium expression. And this is because solids and liquids do not affect a chemical equilibrium. Only species in the gas or aqueous phase are included in the equilibrium expression. So let's go over let's go over a, a few questions. So the question asks us to write the equilibrium expressions for the following reaction. This reaction is is probably the easiest that type of question that you're going to encounter. So remember, equilibrium expression says that equilibrium constant, KEQ, is equal to the concentrations of the products raised to their respective coefficients divided by the concentrations of the reactants raised to each of their respective coefficients. In this case we have our only product is ammonia.
and it has a coefficient of 2. So we write that as being ammonia, the concentration of ammonia squared, divided by the concentration of the reactants. In this case, we have nitrogen gas, the coefficient of 1, and hydrogen gas. coefficient of 3, so that becomes cubed. And that's our equilibrium expression. So let's do one that's a little more involved. Carbon, solid carbon, plus carbon dioxide gas is in equilibrium with carbon monoxide gas. So the equilibrium expression says that KEQ is equal to the concentration of the products, in this case carbon monoxide gas squared, because the coefficient is 2, divided by the concentrations of the reactants. Well, you see that one reactant is in the gas phase and another is in the solid phase. And we don't include solids or liquids in the equilibrium expression. So therefore, we won't include the solid carbon. And we'll only include the carbon dioxide gas. And it has a coefficient of 1. So it'll be raised to the exponent 1. And that's our equilibrium expression. And basically the opposite type of question from the ones that we just did are if you're given the equilibrium expression you may be asked to write a balanced chemical equation. So now the exponents represent the coefficients and remember the products are in the numerator and the reactants are in the, de in the denominator. So our, our reactants will be propane gas reacting with oxygen gas and it has, a, it has an exponent of 5 so there will be 5 moles of oxygen in equilibrium with what's ever in the numerator so 3 moles of carbon dioxide gas reacting with 4 moles of water vapor and that's all you have to do.